This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. It is the responsibility of the installer to thoroughly review the condition of any electrical components being transferred. It is the responsibility of the installer to exercise extreme caution when routing harnesses during an electrical transfer. Western Products highly recommends replacing all vehicle side electrical components when transferring electrical systems. Identifying your current equipment is crucial to planning a transfer to another truck. The Ultramount 2 attachment system shown here shares two distinctive features with the Ultramount system. First, you can drive into the plow's horns with the receiver pockets. Second, both have two jack stands on the outside of the lift frame. The HTS plow only has one jack stand located on the driver's side. This plow uses a unimount system and features a single jack stand in the center of the A-frame. Straight blade plows with a unimount system used hydraulic units with integrated lift cylinder. V plows, however, used a hydraulic unit with separate lift cylinder. If you find that you have a plow using unimount system, you will need to use an ultramount to unimount adapter, part number 27170, and an ultramount vehicle mount. Mounts for unimount systems are no longer produced. If you have a conventional plow, the kit cannot be transferred. Conventional plows are easy to recognize, as the headlights and hydraulic unit remain attached to the vehicle when the blade assembly is removed. Once you've identified the mounting system, you can move on to the electrical system. You will need to determine if you have a 3 or 4 port isolation module or a relay system. The isolation module or relays will be located somewhere in the engine compartment of the vehicle. The three-port isolation module is our current model. If you have either of the other two systems, you will need to upgrade to a three-port isolation module system. This will require an updated light harness as well. To determine your vehicle electrical system, examine the plugs and the plow cables. The newest is a Fleet Flex system consists of an 11-pin and a 4-pin plug. Our three-plug system has different connectors for straight and v voids Straight blades have a three-pin plug while the plows have a 7-pin plug. Our relay system has a 9-pin connector for straight blades and a 12-pin connector for V-plows. This system must be upgraded to a 3-port, three 3-plug three isolation module system. This is our Fleet Flex system with an additional 3-pin plug for the Chevy GMC Overville Fix Service Bolt and SP840 for 2014 and later GM trucks. If you have the system and will not be reinstalling it on a 2014 or later GM truck, you can remove the three pin harness. Now that you've identified what your plow is and electrical system, the next step is getting the correct parts for your plow transfer. See our plow transfer video. Thank you for watching this video.